Um, I, I can't believe it's been nearly six years since I asked Katie out by text. Um, hopefully, hopefully I've improved a little bit since then. I proposed in person and I'm here today. <laughs> About two months into going out with Katie, I decided it was an appropriate time to take off with two mates and go travelling around Europe. In an attempt to sort of keep Katie interested, I decided to invite her out to meet me halfway. Three weeks later, it was nearly time to see her again and her flight was arriving the following morning. I arrived in Prague that evening and it was absolutely chucking it down. <laughs> this, this was the only night that I'd have to, have to fend for myself and plan for myself, and I hadn't booked a hostel. So I spent the next couple of hours just walking around Prague, getting drenched with all of my belongings, weeks worth of clothes in a rucksack on my back. I was dodging stag do's and getting turned, <laughs> get, getting turned away by hotel after hotel. And eventually I, I decided to give up and just go and meet Katie at the airport just sort of wait for her. So I spent the next few hours sat in arrivals wearing a soaking wet tracksuit next to my soaking wet rucksack and waiting for security to move me on. The following morning, Katie breezed through the arrival doors, fresh as a daisy. <laughs> and I'm surprised you didn't just turn around, jump on the plane. You must have been able to smell me before you could see me. But she didn't turn around and we had an amazing holiday together. We hadn't been going out that long, but that week we learned so much about each other. The bathroom door in the hostel was made of glass. <laughs> and there was a direct line of sight from the bed. So not all of it was through choice. Is that an overshare? But it, but it just felt right together. At the end of the holiday, when I said goodbye to Katie at the airport, it was heartbreaking, knowing that I wouldn't see her just for three weeks. I had a little cry then, and I'm not a big crier. <laughs> but since then, Katie's friends and family have made me feel so welcome. Katie means the world to me, and I promise to take care of her. You're my best friend. You're my favourite person and you're the love of my life. The decision for us to get married was literally the easiest one we've ever had to make. You're funny, you're honest, and you understand me, and you make me so happy. I love you so much. like the human journey when I get emotional and this is such a great day so if I get to the end of this without wobbling over it'll be a miracle. I'll paint a sun to warm your heart knowing that we'll never part. I'll draw the years all passing by so much to learn so much to try. I'll paint my mood in a shadow blue paint my soul to be with you. I'll sketch your lips in shaded tones draw your mouth to my own. I'll trace a hand to wipe your tears and trace a look to calm your fears. The silhouette of dark and light to hold each other oh so tight. I'll paint the stars in the evening sky, draw the light into your eyes. A touch of love, a touch of grace to softly fall on your moonlit face. And with this ring, our lives will start. Let nothing keep our love apart. I'll take your hand to hold in mine and be together through all time. I first knew this was serious when Katie said to me she wanted me to have a dry martini moment with Jamie. And for those who don't know what that is, my favourite watering hole is Duke's Hotel in St James's, where they serve the finest dry martini cocktails in the world. Their nuclear strength, the house rule is two as a maximum because after you have two, strange things happen. So Katie and Jamie arrived and the conversation flowed, the martinis flowed, we broke the house rule, we broke it again and by the end of the evening I thought Jamie was amazing. By the end of the evening I thought everyone was amazing. <laughs> But the serious point on that first evening was I could see that this was it. Katie had made her choice and it was a great choice, a great couple, a great team, and I was very happy. There is something phenomenal about the process by which a baby becomes a girl, becomes a young woman, and eventually a beautiful woman walks down the aisle to stand and take her place by her man at the end. And a fine man you chose. I'm an investment banker, so I don't naturally give away anything ever to anyone. <laughs> least alone something as precious as my daughter. But Jamie is an exception. And I have to say to two new friends, Annie and Ned, you did a superb job. You raised a fine son and he's a great credit to you. I'm so happy that you're now my wife. It's an, it's an absolute honor and I can't believe it's finally happened. We've been talking about it for months, for years. 
I'm so happy that I can finally call you my wife. You understand me more than anyone else in the world, um, all my quirks. Um, I just love you so much. And you make me very happy. Uh, I love you.